This is a question relating to conversion of one compound to the other. The question is this, how is 2-butene that is an internal olefin converted to 1-butene which is a terminal olefin? How is 2-butene converted to 1-butene? This involves one or two simple steps. So, we will take up the various uh, the sequence of steps. First one react 2-butene with HBr. When it is treated with HBr or any other hydrogen halide, preferably HBr. When it is treated with HBr, it will give rise to CH3, CHBr, CH2, CH3. <coughs> you will get simple direct Marconic of addition will be obtained. And uh, this is actually in addition to that, this is only a symmetrical olefin. Therefore, no need of even applying Marconic of rule. Bromine will get attached to one carbon atom and the other hydrogen will get attached to the other carbon atom to give this product 2 bromo butane. This 2 bromo butane is now normally when this undergoes elimination that means dehydrohalogenation along with alcoholic potassium hydroxide it follows the sides of rule. When it follows the sides of rule it will give back the same compound. But what we need is not this compound but it is a terminal olefin. Therefore, this bromo compound 2 bromo butane is converted to a quaternary ammonium salt by treatment with trimethylamine. So, when it is treated with trimethylamine, this will give rise to CH3CH N CH3 3 times. This will become a salt Br minus CH2 CH3. That means the bromine is being replaced by means of the trimethylamine group. So, you will get trimethyl ammonium bromide, butyl trimethyl ammonium bromide will be the product that is obtained. This is treated with moist silver oxide. The moist silver oxide, the role of moist silver oxide is this will convert the bromide to the hydroxide. So, the corresponding hydroxide in the same compound will be there, but the corresponding hydroxide will be produced instead of the bromide. So, the difference between these two compounds is the role of moist silver oxide is to convert this Br minus to OH minus. This moist silver oxide once when it becomes a, this is a quaternary ammonium hydroxide, this alkyl group that is trimethyl butyl ammonium hydroxide. When this compound is simply heated, this will lose a molecule of water, eliminate trimethylamine and give rise to this compound namely 1-butene. So, 1-butene is obtained from 2-butene by this very simple procedure. 2-butene is converted to the bromide and this bromide is converted to the quaternary ammonium salt and the quaternary ammonium salt will become a quaternary ammonium hydroxide. Quaternary ammonium hydroxide on thermal conditions on heating will lead to the formation of 1-butene. The elimination under normal condition is known as the sides of rule. Supposing this bromide is undergoes elimination to give rise to 2 butene, it is known as sides of elimination. This will give rise to a more substituted olefin. On the other hand, when this quaternary ammonium salts, not only ammonium salts, ammonium, sulfonium, some ammonium salts on heating will lose, uh, will undergo elimination to give rise to a less substituted olefin or 1 butene. So, this is one of the standard methods of conversion of 2-butene to 1-butene involving Hoffman elimination instead of sides of elimination. If this is directly eliminated, this will give rise to internal olefin. If the quaternary ammonium salt is undergoes elimination, this will give rise to a terminal olefin which is a less substituted olefin.